All presenters share a basic fear, freezing or going blank. Great presenters, though, take confidence in the notes they've prepared. So how do you find the right balance between the safety of notes and the engagement of eye contact during your presentation? Simple, you make your notes work for you. I'm Colin Stone, this is the Pink Elephant Vlog, and today I'll be telling you how to use notes effectively during presentations. Number one, consider your format. I use cue cards. I find they allow me to tell a one minute story or make 60 seconds worth of points before turning over and reading the next one. Others prefer an A4 sheet with headlines on one side and bullet points on the other, and some use mind maps. Whatever works for you, find your preferred format. Number two, write headlines. Each new section of your presentation should have a headline standing out clearly from your page, allowing you to glance down to see where you're going next. These headlines should be one word and say to you immediately, this is what the next section is about. Too wordy and you'll lose eye contact. Too small and you'll be unable to see it. Block capitals, bold, one word. Number three, use proper nouns. It's very difficult to look down at your notes, see words like sustainability and resources, and know what you meant when you wrote the notes in the first place. They're abstract concepts and your brain gets confused. If you want to reduce your content, it's far better to use names of places, people, things, or numbers. Number four, highlight key words. Enthusiasm is the most underrated of virtues in a presentation, so prepare areas where you want to inject some. These are the words and phrases you want people to remember the most. By highlighting these in bold or with a coloured highlighter, you can now be three times more enthusiastic over these than you would have been otherwise. Number five, pauses. Half seconds between words, one second after each sentence, two or three seconds in between paragraphs. Build in obvious pauses. I use a line break to show me where to leave a gap, particularly over lists where people need time to digest your one, two, three. And number six, rehearse. Make sure you hit the right notes in your speech. Practice the enunciation and pauses. Reduce and reduce until you've comfortably presented three times with the notes in front of you. After that, you're good to go. Well, that's all we have for you on the Pink Elephant Vlog, but if you found this helpful, get in touch to book a training session for you or your team wherever you are in the world, and follow us on social media for all the latest. Until next time, enjoy your next presentation, and remember to pause.